First of all, Kevin, do you have any questions for me about anything at all? Um, I really, I feel like you explained a lot of things. And yeah. Pretty much everything that I had in my mind walking in, you pretty much explained it. Good. Let me see the answers to your questions. Um, I still was like right now. That's okay. Um, if you're going through the interview, what did you think about the knives? I, I felt like uh, it was awesome. I never really seen anything like that. Yeah, the, uh, the texture and how like I work in food service. Okay. So that that little Sweet stuff like that, yeah, yeah, that little stuff like that kind of like opens up eyes for me. So for sure. The fact that you have to go like this back and forth to cut something, or you can just you know what I'm saying, like sure. just the way it feels and stuff like that. It's yeah. just a whole lot better. Cool. Now here's what I'm really interested in, Kevin. It says here that you feel like this experience could benefit your future. Right. I want to know about that. Why? Be specific. Because most of my um, it's mo most of my experience as far as work relation is food service, okay. so I'm pretty much dealing with what's already on the screen. I'm not trying to sell anything to anybody. I'm not trying to trying to I'm not trying to to push or to to inform. When you come to Taco Bell or you come to Lenny's, you already know you want a Philly cheesesteak and a nacho cheese. Sure. What I'm trying to do on that part is to make sure that I'm giving you your sandwich in, in a timely manner and make sure that you that you're happy and you have a pleasant experience. Now, I feel like this is the opportunity for me to elevate my my talking and elevate my my personal swagger and how I carry myself instead of just actually just why is that important doing yeah. something because it makes you personal it makes you more than just a logo or more than a brand in which you're selling it makes you a per Kevin do you feel like you need that in order to be a great restaurant owner in the future? Right, because I, I don't want to somebody to look at me like I'm just the owner or I'm just the dude with the money. Like you don't necessarily have to know my story. And you know, like when I'm 50 and you're 15 and, and you're watching, you might not know how I started, but it, it it helps me to so you can get a better understanding of me and so I can understand you. I don't want to be that type of person that's telling people what to do and then I haven't done it or I haven't yeah. walked in their shoes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, sure. be, I feel like I'm a personal person anyway. Like my first job was at was at Subway and then I worked at a summer camp concert at the Y. So cool. I have no problems talking to people or anything. Cool. But I feel like as far as business wise, it's a difference than just hang, hanging out and being. So if I'm hearing you correctly, you feel like this is where you can develop strong skills Strong experience for what you want to do in the future. Aside from the classroom, the classroom teaches you the, how to read, you know what I'm saying? How sure. to solve the equation and stuff yep. like that, how to give the presentation. But a job where it's in sales, where you you have a product, where you're in, responsible for it, you have, it, it makes you more aware. It makes, this is implementation. It, right. It's back, yeah, right. Uh, Love it. A one on one improv every day. <laughs> Love it. I'm sorry, uh, right? So, type. <laughs> Um, Kevin, why do you feel like this job fits your personality perfectly? Because I'm just a people person, and it's one on one, me and the soccer mom and her husband. Um, I, I I can talk. And I'm just a I'm just a people person. I don't know. Like, I, this this a situation. I don't really like to be behind the desk. I, I like to be right in front of you. Like, whether it's a demonstration or whether it's a talk through or whether we're, we're trying to figure out after I demonstrate and cut down the leather and see that you want to buy, okay, well, what kind of product, how much sure. do you want to buy, you know what I'm saying? So it's sure. levels to it, and I feel like I can do the levels because I feel like I can talk to people regardless of the situation. Awesome. I mean, this is an interview, so I mean, I'm just trying to be, you know what I'm saying, professional. And have, yeah. But like you said, with experience, you know what I'm saying, like I, I've been in a situation where I was a cashier, then I went from the cashier to the girl, then I went from the girl to the ship lead, you know what I'm saying? So I have no problem starting from one way and then working my way up. Cool. It just all comes down with, what do you know what you're doing? Because some people, they know what they're doing. Some people, they just go to work just to work, and then some people actually go to work to try to learn what they're doing, so to make it not necessarily work. Cool. Well, Kevin, let me tell you how I feel, because I have to make decisions, and I don't like doing that. So that I have to do with the success of my team and my territory. So let me tell you how I feel about you. Mm -hmm. I like you. I like you a lot. Mm -hmm. You're well-dressed. You're well-spoken. You're confident in yourself. I love that. Um, as far as what I thought we could have improved, I felt like I could have heard a little bit more from you during the interview, as far as answering questions goes. But um, I started taking really good notes. You seem like someone who's an aggressive learner. Mm -hmm. You seem like that friend, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem like that friend that everyone's mom likes. Right. Like you get along with both parents. Right. You know what I love most about you, Kevin, though? You seem really hungry. Right. Um, you seem hungry to learn, hungry to grow, hungry to improve your skill set. You're excited about making an impact in the future. I mean, I love working with people like that. 
It's okay, but ultimately, the things I liked about you outweighed the things I thought you could have approved, and I want to offer you the position and welcome you to the team. I so appreciate, you guys I appreciate it. Man. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me get you scheduled for your training. All right. um, this panel goes over everything I went over during the interview. So if any family or friends have questions, you can let them read that. All right. Second, then you schedule for the training. I know you said you want to start as soon as possible. Right. And as much as I would love to get you started tomorrow, I can't. I'm going to get you started on Thursday. Okay. Um, let me just go ahead and tell you, man, while I'm getting you scheduled for training here, Kevin, I'm really looking forward to working with you. Me too. I appreciate it. I think you're going to awesome. kick some serious butt. <laughs> you seem so personable, so confident. You want to work in food service. You value quality products working in a kitchen. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are going to have natural enthusiasm and belief in the product. All right. You have a natural energy about you that customers are going to love. And with our training and our products, dude, you are going to be deadly. I'm looking just ready for the training. You're like gonna you said, it was like the NC, like when you started talking about the colleges that, that use it, I was like, it's cool, isn't it? Right. It's a big deal. So let me go over this with you. You can read this part on your own. Um, come 20 minutes early, mm -hmm. eat first and bring a lunch and verify the information when you get the email from us. You'll get that following the interview. Okay. Dress up. So we're, look nice when you come in, shirt and tie. Training will be Thursday, 3 to 8.30, mm -hmm. Friday, 12 to 7, Saturday, 10 to 5. Cool. Right. That's for you. All right, man. Kevin, again, congrats, buddy. I look forward to working with you, man. Thank I'll see you. you on Thursday, all right? Appreciate it. You're welcome, buddy. Appreciate you. All right, man. All right. Congratulations. Have a great one. Austin, first of all, do you have any questions for me about anything? Uh, so just on a general basis, not implying that this isn't a safe opera, but like when you go, because it's like one-on-one, one-on-two, -on -one like, it's, like you said, it's comfortable, right, with the environment. Yeah. I mean, no, yeah, I mean, I'm just curious, because like, like I told you, I work at Air Apostle, so it's like, it's not necessarily one-on-one, -on -one, it's more like one on the entire store. Sure. Because like, I normally operate the front, like greet as people come in, as they sure. come out, so that, that's like, you know, we all have, we're all connected with the mics and everything's like stable. Yeah. But again, there you're like in their house on their property. Oh yeah. So I'm just kind of curious, you know, that's cool. Um, I mean, dude, uh, it, it's only, one thing I found about life is it's only awkward if you make it awkward. Yeah. I mean, the reason I'm selective and diligent during this process is to find the people who are going to be comfortable and confident in themselves, mm -hmm. sitting down at someone's kitchen table, cracking a couple jokes, reading 13 pages of a manual. And, uh, and working with a customer. Um, that's why I take an hour to make these decisions. So I guess the question is this, Austin. Would you be comfortable in that environment, sitting with a customer one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two with them in their kitchen? Definitely. Cool. Awesome. Let me go to the answers to your questions. Um, first of all, what did you think about the knives? They were great. They were definitely the best I've seen. They're awesome, aren't they? Oh, yeah. I'm going to break this out. Um, Now, Austin, I see here that you feel like this experience is one that could benefit your future. I want you to tell me more about that. Why? How so? Be specific. Well, I said I'm wanting to be specifically a nutritionist. And, you know, to do that, you either have to work for a company or have your clients that hire you to help them. Bingo. So if you don't seem appealing to them and you're just as average as the next guy, why should they pick you? Exactly. So you're saying, oh, this is experience based. We're doing this. You're selling yourself. That's obviously a pivotal role. That's what you need. As far as doing that. Yeah. So you feel like this is what can help you give you the skills that you need to learn how to build and maintain a clientele base for the future as a nutritionist. Definitely. Yeah. Love it. Love it. So why do you feel like this job fits your personality perfectly, Austin? Well, not to reiterate myself, but I do work at you know, clothing. So you have to be like outgoing. You have to get people to like buy things. Of course, we don't get paid tuition. Actually, we get paid you know, a lot less. Yeah. Here. And that's like just strictly, that's it. Like you don't, like I said, you don't get tuition. So there's sure. no incentive like you were saying in there. But, you know, like I said, you have to go outgoing. You have to, oh, hey, can I help you with this? Hey, we have these shorts. Are you interested in this? This goes with a nice sleeve. You want me to get that? So you yeah. have to, like, I thought people come in and say, okay, I have this shirt. I need clothes to go with it. Like, go. Yeah. You have to, like, know, okay, he needs this, this, or she needs this, this, and this. Sure. And, like, you just have to go with it. And in those situations, it is one-on-one. 
Because right. it's just like they're asking you what goes with this. Yeah. What can I get with this? Yeah. So like yeah, all that like I feel like I have like a base for that way I would be like applicable for the show. Uh huh. But like you said, also so it can help me as a nutritionist nutritionist in the future. Cool. Yeah. Well, so let me tell you how I feel because I have to make decisions. Mm -hmm. I don't like doing that. I have to do it for the success of my team, my territory. Let me tell I tell you how I feel about you. Mm -hmm. um, I like you, man. I like you a lot. You're very confident in yourself. You're very articulate. Um, you're extremely personable. I can tell you make strong connections with people. I have a feeling that may even be that may even be why you want to be a nutritionist because you want to be able to impact people. Um, that you want to be able to uh, yeah. to influence and make a difference. Yeah. Help them where they don't know how to help them. Exactly. Um, I love that about you. As far as what I thought we could have improved, Austin. I felt there was times in the interview where I could have heard more from you. Yeah. But I did see you taking great notes. You seem like someone who's an aggressive learner. I will say that you seem pretty competitive. You're an athlete. You play sports. I can't remember the last time I had a stud athlete not be a stud sales rep. Everything it takes to be a great athlete it takes to be a great rep. Mm -hmm. Persistence, determination, being able to take coaching, being competitive. Um, you know, also, and I also like the fact that you've worked with customers, and I can tell you're good at thinking on your feet. Mm -hmm. So ultimately, the things I liked about you outweigh the things I thought you could have improved, and I want to offer you the position and welcome you to the team. So congratulations. Thanks. You're welcome. Let me get you scheduled for training. Uh, this pamphlet is going to go over everything I went over during the interview. If any family or friends have questions, you can let them read that.